name is Harry D'Angelo, uh, and I'm a financial economist. I held the Kenneth Kingstonier chair uh, in the Marshall School. I spent 29 years on the USC faculty. I came to USC from the University of Michigan. Before Michigan, I also had teaching positions at Wharton, University of Rochester, and the University of Washington. I was asked to offer some big picture thoughts about uh, retirement uh, for people who are faculty members in particular who are um, thinking seriously about whether and, and, and when to retire. The first point uh, may be obvious to many people, it certainly was not obvious to me, I'm, I'm somewhat embarrassed to admit, uh, and, and it concerns the value of the freedom that comes with retirement. It's a wonderful, wonderful uh, uh, aspect, aspect of, of the later stage of life. Uh, I've been spending my time mostly uh, on physical fitness and on trying to feel as good as I can for as long uh, as I can. Um, I've also uh, put considerable focus on uh, relationships that matter to me. Uh, more focus on that uh, now that I'm not uh, not working. I think it's unquestionably true that you will not be able to f enjoy to the fullest possible degree the freedom that comes with retirement if you do not have a strong financial foundation uh, for the life uh, that, that you want to lead. Um, if you're not comfortable with your finance skills and, and, and ability to figure out whether you've got the right foundation in place, by all means consult a professional, get an advisor, and make sure that you're on solid ground before you resign your position. It's probably obvious advice, but, but definitely do it. Um, in terms of specifics on the financial front, I would, um, I, I would offer just one observation that concerns Social Security. If you're in good health with a normal life expectancy, there is really a very strong financial advantage to delaying uh, to, 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 to the last minute, basically until you're 70 and a half, uh, the, the start of your, your own uh, Social Security benefits. My experience is you cannot make a rational decision about retirement without actually thinking deeply uh, about the scarcity of time that's left to you and how you want to uh, spend it. I'll, I'll offer two sources that I, of, of, uh, that I found extremely useful and I would highly recommend them to you if you, if you, if you don't have, if, you, if, you, if you're not aware of them uh, and if you uh, feel that it would be helpful for you to, to pursue this, this particular line that I've identified. When Breath Becomes Air, it's beautifully written. It's not that long. I've read it multiple times. It, it's probably the most important book I've read in my life. Certainly it's the most important thing I read to help me with retirement decisions. Uh, strongly recommend it. The second thing is I, I would go to YouTube and I would listen to Steve Jobs' 2005 uh, commencement speech at Stanford. Uh, it's a great speech. It's got many things that are, that are useful about life. A number of years back, my wife Linda gave me a sign that I keep on my desk and I read every morning. It says, don't waste your life. Don't waste your life is a short way of summarizing the message Steve Jobs sought to convey in that Stanford commencement speech. I'm guessing that most people watching this video have spent the bulk of their lives thinking about ideas, borrowing into journal articles, reading books, and etc. You know, working on trying to advance knowledge to the best of their ability, but in a reasonably narrow area. My mother died seven years ago, right around the time I was thinking seriously about retiring, at least starting this process of deciding whether I was going to, to, to retire and what I was going to do in retirement. Um, if before she died, she offered me some advice. You know, what, what she said was, whatever you wind up doing, or wherever you wind up going in retirement. Make sure that you think carefully about being close to the people in your life who really matter to you. Now I have some experience uh, 
with retirement, and I can tell you unequivocally that was great advice. Maybe the best, maybe the best advice my mother ever gave me in, in my, my entire life, and she gave me some, some, some very useful things along the way. So, bottom line in all of this, if I were going to give you one piece of advice for your life planning exercise, it would be to take to heart the advice my mother offered me. Hope these thoughts were useful to you. I wish you all the best.